this lesson is going to be on this on the said stream editor which will allow you to automate your text editing it will also allow you to find and replace and just manipulate all your text on the fly let's go ahead and give you an example let's see what files we have and let's go ahead and view the contents of test.txt so you'll notice we have a few lines here followed by a few empty lines let's say we wanted to output the text on line 2 so we would just do said dash n now this would suppress anything that we weren't asking for so let's do space and we'll follow it by a 2p so this will be our second line and then we need the file name and you'll see that now we actually outputted what's on the second line of that test file let's say I want to output like a range like maybe two to four lines two to four so instead I would just go ahead and do two comma four and you'll see that it outputs you lines two to four you can have this from line one and you'll see it gives you from line one to four so now let's say we also just wanted to print like the last line of the file we could just do said dash n and then we'll do the dollar symbol p tests.txt the dollar symbol will actually mean like give us the last line of the file now notice that the last line is actually a blank line so in order to get rid of the blank lines and clean up our document we would just do another said, said command let's do said dash e and so this will allow us to execute some command we're going to execute a regular expression and our regular expression is going to be if it starts with the end delete off of test.txt now we're going to pipe the output of the first command into the input stream of said on the second command so we're going to do said now we want to grab the last line and we do, no, we do not need to specify the text file since we're using the input stream from the previous command let's go ahead and press enter and you'll see that it outputted the last line of the file now let's say I wanted to output everything except line 2 of a file I would do said dash e and then I would do, oops, sorry, dash n. And usually to output the line 2, you would do 2p, followed by the name of the file. And you see it would output you line 2. Now, if I wanted to output everything but line 2, I would use the explanation point right in front of the p. Press enter, and it outputted everything but 2. But let's clean this document up also to remove the white space or remove the extra lines. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do said dash e put a regular expression here starts with the n delete and then we're going to give it the file name and then we're going to use the output into the input stream of the next said so we do not need to specify the text file and there you go now we've cleaned the document so let's go ahead and output the out the result of this to another text file so let's go ahead and run that command using output redirection we can then do clean.txt and you'll see that now we have in our clean the contents from our result now set is also very useful for finding and replacing information let's say we want to find and replace everything that said the, had the word Frank to test so what we'd have to do is said dash e because we're going to execute a command space forward slash nope, space single quotes and then your single quotes you're going to do string we're going to search so the first parameter is the search so we're going to search for Frank and we want to replace it with the second parameter which will be test and we've got to put our little p at the end and then to the test uh, the let's do it on the clean file that we created just now 
you'll see that it'll output everything, but everybody, everything that had the word Frank in it will now have the word test. Let's go ahead and say we wanted to su uh, suppress everything that didn't have the words Frank, and we only wanted to show the results that actually were replaced. We would just add the end flag right there, press enter, and you'll see that it'll show us the one line test Frank, or test Perez, the one line that we changed. Now, instead of using output redirection, you could also use you could also use uh, another flag that said offers, which is the dash i. So what we do is we'd use the dash i. Hold on. Dash i dot. Let's say b a k for backup. Now what's going to happen? It's going to you, it's going to write the outputs to clean.txt and create a new file, clean.txt.back. So now if we do ls, you'll see that we have a clean.txt back. So if we cat the contents of that, you'll see that we have all the original contents. And now if we cat the contents of the new clean file, you'll see that we only have the one line that we outputted from the previous command.